We need to take Bruce out, set him up in a vision cage in the shed with heat. Look at that baby right there. That's a nice view. I gotta be extra careful. Oh, see that? Super, super careful. You guys are cuddling with each other, staying warm. Man, starting to look like something. Look how beautiful. Man. There's blood coming out of that man's shin's head because he just got bit in the head by the other one. Oh, man. What is going on, guys? Good morning to you or whatever it is, wherever you're at. It's real cold out here. I know Brandon doesn't have a hoodie on, but it is a little bit chilly. And that is not good with the animals. But as you guys know, I have reptiles outside. And the cold is no bueno. Last night it got down to 65 degrees over here, which is on the cold side. Okay, so I gotta make sure all the animals are doing all right. And then I got a bunch of wood and stuff from Home Depot. We're gonna make heat boxes today because i gotta go out of town again and the weather is going to be dropping again like not cool of course the world has to wait until i'm going out of town to get cold but yeah look at these checking up on the rhinos first let's see how these guys are doing hey guys how are you how do you guys feel okay they're not that bad they're actually pretty warm you guys are cuddling with each other staying warm Ugh, so frustrating the birds do great. So birds have really high cold tolerances. These guys are totally fine. They can withstand nice cold. They got nice the fluffy feathers to keep them warm. Same thing with the macaws. They kind of cuddle up with each other at night. They stay super warm. He don't care either. But the reptiles are a different story. They do not like it. It cannot get, I mean, low 70s is okay for them, but once it starts getting down to the 60s, they don't like it at all. Look at Onyx right now. So Onyx already has a heat box set up. So I'm gonna be making more of those today just to make sure everybody stays nice and good. How are you, Onyx? You're fine, huh? You're fine, you're hungry, huh? You're nice and warm. You're staying in the sun, getting nice and warm, huh? You sweet boy? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that head, you're such a sweetie. I love you, Onyx. All right, we gotta check on everybody else, dude. Just my luck that I build outdoor enclosures for these guys, and then it gets cold a day later. But as you can see, look. These guys are doing okay, right? You're okay. Hey, it's all right. Hey, dude, it's okay, Butters. It's all right, Butters, you're fine. And then Alexis is up here in the corner right here. You can see her, she's fine too. Cool, so they are all good to go. Checked them on all the reptiles, everybody's cool. So now we gotta get to building things and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do this. Not only do I have to make sure everything is good to go temperature-wise, but I gotta feed everything before I leave town too. So we're gonna thaw out and feed everything on the property. We gotta figure out something for Bruce today. Also, you guys know my crocodile monitor that I got from Tom on my birthday. He has a hide box on his cage right now, but it does not have any heat. And it's gonna be getting down into the 50s this coming week while I'm out of town. So I need to make sure everything is good to go. Alligators are totally fine. They don't need a heater on their water. They can, alligators can withstand very, very, very cold temperatures, even frozen snow and stuff. Gators are totally fine. They can deal with it. So I don't really have to worry about the gators at all, but everything else outside has to be taken care of. First things first, I gotta get everybody fed. Nice, fat, and happy before this cold front comes. Because the tortoises, I'm not going to keep them out here, especially getting 50 degrees. I only have these like, this is a temporary enclosure. Their main enclosure is going to be built out of concrete on the side of my house. I just haven't been able to afford to do that yet. So what we're going to do with the tortoises is we're going to take them all, put them in my shed, put them all in these big brooders, these 300 gallon brooders that I have, and put heat lights and a space heater on each one. Because we got to keep these guys nice and warm, especially my aldabbies. I don't want them getting sick. Martin. How you doing, dude? Where's the rest of you guys? Oh, there's Tiny Tim right there. We got number four, and then we got two in there, chilling. Come on, guys, let's eat. Gotta feed these rhinos. Brandon is getting all the tortoise chow ready, so we can give them all tortoise chow as well. I got all these little tiny bananas for the iguanas, the tortoises. Everybody gets these little sweet guys. They love them. And of course, nice head of romaine. There we go, we got a little bit of high in there too. Just get everybody nice and fed. So these are the heat pads that I use and I get them on Amazon. It's a company called K&H. You can see it right there on the bottom. They sell several different sizes. See here you go, K&H Pet Products. You can just look that up on Amazon. These are the medium ones, which are just a little tiny bit 
See, a little bit smaller than the large ones. And they work great. There's a bunch of other, like I think Zoomed, RepTizoo, there's a few other companies that make them. They're just super overpriced and they're the same freaking thing. I think the big ones were like 40 or 50 bucks. So super affordable. So hopefully these ones are still good. Tested them out. I've had those for a couple years. But these ones obviously are brand new in the box. So we'll be fine. The little ones. I'm gonna build for the little guys. We're gonna see how much wood I have left over. Might build the rhino iguanas a new box. And I'm not sure yet if I'm building Bruce a box. We're gonna do everybody else first. And then if I don't have anything left over, I'm probably gonna take Bruce out at the end of the video. And we're gonna set him up in a six foot vision. Now, just to make sure these guys are working properly, we're gonna hit him with a temp gun and see 89 degrees. Perfect. Cool. And we got up to 90 degrees, even higher, 96 degrees on this side. So that's great. Just make sure all of them are like that there we go in the 90s there we go also in the 90s which is perfect so these boxes that we're gonna make they're not gonna be insulated but even with the outside elements having a heat pad inside of the box keeps the temperature perfect in there and it works great and these boxes I'm gonna make a little bit different how I've made them in the past last year my black dragons passed away on Christmas as horrible as it was just just it was just such a rough time you know new new baby life was super hectic and i wasn't super on top of everything and we had a cold front that went down to 30 degrees and killed my black dragons last year and i'm just not letting that happen this year so this year i'm building heat boxes with locks on them so that way at night before it gets super cold i'm going to come out make sure all the animals are in their boxes and lock them inside so they cannot come out because last year what happened the day before christmas it was probably like 65 70 degrees outside which is totally fine especially with the sunlight you know they were basking in the sun they were super warm it was awesome and then christmas day came we were doing family stuff all day yada 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 every it was a super long day i came home and instead of making sure everybody was in their hide boxes i waited till the next morning and it got 30 degrees out and they died and they were both in their freaking water and it was absolutely terrible so i'm gonna make sure that nothing can get out of i have to physically let them in and out of it and make sure everybody's locked up so that way there's no funny business so first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these one and a half by one and a half pieces and i'm gonna cut everything to build three hide boxes first so now that i got all my pieces cut i'm gonna start building the frame and i want to make sure everything is nice and square and done correctly and obviously i want it to be extremely strong i want these things to last for years on end so i'm just gonna shoot a nail in at a time to kind of keep it together and then i'm gonna really fasten it together with some screws to make sure it's extremely sturdy first we got to make these frames and be sure it all fits together the way that I want it to fit. And then you can see here, it's gonna be the perfect size for these pads to fit on the bottom. I don't want any spaces on the sides because I want them just to be on heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of mulch on this. They're not gonna be very high and it'll be perfect. Here we go, we got our three boxes just framed out. Easy, one and a half by one and a half. Super sturdy, perfect. Now I gotta cut all the plywood. <laughs> that starting to look like something. And I gotta finish sealing this, but this is how I'm running the cord outside. But then we're gonna take some great stuff and seal this off as well. Ski you, look at these babies. So we got a lock on there. So when they're inside the cages, boom, we just leave the top open, let them crawl in and out during the day as they want to. At night, make sure they're in there and we'll lock them in until the next morning so they cannot come out at night and freeze. Oh man, it's four o'clock now. I started this in the morning. So needless to say, it's been going way smoother on camera than it actually has in real life. It's been a project, but we're getting there. So now I gotta get them all set up in the enclosures. We need to take Bruce out, set him up in a vision cage in the shed with heat. We gotta put heat on the rhino iguanas or move them into the shed too while I'm out of town. <sighs> and then get electricity ran to everything. So we still got a lot to do. Look at that baby right there. That's a nice view. So we got everything done. Heat boxes are in. Look at that. Boo freaking yah. And then this guy right here is gonna power everything outside. Oh, just like that. And obviously as it cools down tonight, I'm gonna use my temp gun again, go in there and check, make sure all those boxes are nice and warm for my little babies. Because tonight is gonna get down to the 50s. Got these all set up for the most part. Just gotta take this bedding out. This is old, put some fresh aspen in there. And then this six foot vision right here is where we're gonna put Bruce the croc monitor. And the rhino iguanas I already took care of. They have two heat pads in their enclosure. So this is my boy Bruce. And it is gonna get way too cold out for him today and while I'm out of town. Don't want anything weird to happen. So 
We're gonna catch him up right now and put him in that six foot vision. And hopefully this goes decently. It might be kind of chill, not sure. He's not being bad. Not being bad at all. So I just wanna make sure that he's super secure. So that way I don't accidentally like let him slip off or lose him or something, you know what I mean? And he runs away, that would be freaking terrible. But look how beautiful this crawfish right is, man. Just so freaking awesome. So let's go safely get him across my yard without him freaking out. Gotta do this kind of quick. Horrible, horrible monitor if he wanted to lose his shit. And obviously, can't let him go over here. He would thrive down in South Florida if he survives the few cold nights we do have. But still, we ain't even talking about that. We're just gonna get him in there safely. No funny business. Oh, he's starting to wiggle. All right, we gotta get him in there. Ready? There we go. Sorry, Bruce. Nice. I know, dude. It's a good size cage for him, at least, that six foot vision. I'm gonna put a heat light on the end. Keep him nice and toasty at night. Because that was 50 degree weather, man. Not cool. Could be very lethal. Put a lock on there, make sure it's extra safe. Ended up giving my guy two things. He's got a heat mat and there's an infrared heat light over there also. He will be nice and toasty. All right, now that everything is taken care of outside, we need to feed everything inside. Woo, no, they'll take a small down, look at that. Woo, those indigos are on fire. So nice. It's crazy how fast they eat. Look, he didn't even take no seconds. He's just swallowing that thing down. If that was alive, he'd be eating it whole. I honestly thought these small rats were gonna be a little bit too big, but bro, these indigos are getting freaking huge. Putting on size, that is not a big meal at all. It's perfect. Hell yeah. There we go. I'm gonna try to feed these guys two each. All the way in the back is the female. Where is she? Oh, she's out of focus. Maybe she'll get into focus once I do this. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. I got a fang inside of the tong. You see what just happened? Her fang is literally stuck inside of the plastic of that. That's not good, I'm gonna have to get this off. See her fang is caught in that rubber. I gotta help her out. Oh yeah, that's not good. Now there's gonna be freaking venom all over this thing. Jeez. Man, that was crazy. Venom all over that thing. Not good. At least I didn't break her fang though. Alright, let's try to feed her again. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Alright, cool. Thank God she took it. Dope. Man, that's weird. I'm gonna wash these things. Next up, false water cover. This female, she needs to eat. Hey, come on over here, man. No, oh, there she goes. Oh, she got it now. Crazy snake. Next up, my girl, Gabby. You hungry, baby? Fang through the rubber again. Look at that. Holy crap. Now for the rattlesnakes. Both of their heads are right here at the freaking glass. So I gotta be extra careful. Whoa, see that? Super, super careful. They have crazy feeding responses, especially since I've been in here for a minute. They smell the rats, and they're hungry. Got Robin right here. Robin in the can. Keep an eye on Batman, because he is super stretchy right now. We give Batman a jumbo, boom, right like that. Leave that there for him. So I'll have to do it like this. There we go. Nice and safe. Oh man, look at that shot right there. Ooh. Love watching him eat like that. You're going ass first, dude. That's not the way you do it. Next up, my blackheads. Here you go, dude. Actually, this is Sweet Clementine, not Steve. What am I talking about? There you go, sweetheart. Mean Steve, how are you, sir? Got for you. There you go. Dude, what is with everybody biting the rubber today? There's blood coming out of that Mang Shen's head because it just got bit in the head by the other one. Holy crap. God, well that's just the scariest thing in the world though. Hopefully my girl's gonna be okay. I'm gonna keep you guys posted, obviously. But holy crap. She still has blood on her head, but her head does not look nearly as swollen as it was for, you know, the last hour and a half. Oh, pretty crazy. They were on two totally different like sides of the cage. I mean, obviously this cage is very big, but god dang, I'm in such a rush to get out of town. Oh man, gotta pump the brakes a little bit, especially doing venomous 
being in a rush doesn't go hand in hand. Gotta be real careful, guys. <sighs> Let me keep you guys posted on everything. I gotta hurry up, and finish doing my. I got so many other chores to do. It's late. It's probably nine o'clock right now. So I gotta leave here 8:30 in the morning. And go to Mexico. By the time you guys see this video, I'll probably be already back from Mexico. So. Oh man. Crazy. <laughs> Things happen now. All right. Until next time, guys. I'm out of here. Long, exhausted day. TylerOnTattoos.com for all your merch. Appreciate everybody that watches till the end. Sorry, it's gotta end like this. I'll see you soon. Love everyone here. Later.